Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is day 272. I'm posting chess puzzle every day for a year. And this one is going to be black to move. So white pushed their pawn to g7, ignoring the threat on their rook. Um, please pause the video now. Comment down below what you think black should do to win this position. So yeah, um, first things first. White is one step from promotion. So we can't just play king takes e6, and then um, white will actually just promote and be winning. For example, let's say rook f7. Um, well, white is probably just going to play like something like queen e8 check. Um, let's say black goes rook e7, queen c6 check, king f7, queen d5 check, winning the bishop and the game. So this is pretty easy uh, win for white. So that's why we don't want to play king takes e6. Because we want to win, actually. Um, so, the first move is going to be bishop f5 check. So this um, checks the king. If the king goes back to um, h2, we're just going to take with the bishop uh, on e6. Because if we take with the king, obviously, what he's going to promote again. And um, the idea is that after bishop takes e6, we are stopping... Um, the g8 promotion because we're just going to take it. So white is going to play h7, pawn h7. We're going to play rook h4 check, checking the king and I'm um, attacking the pawn on h7. The king's going to go to the g file and then we just take on h7. Sorry, um, my camera is covering that up, but um, I don't really know how to fix that. Uh, something wrong with the recording software. Um, so white is actually just not going to play king h2. They're going to play king g3, attacking the rook on f4. So now if we take on e6, white is just going to play um, king takes uh, f4, and white will actually be winning. Because after bishop g8, we're trying to stop this um, promotion of whites. But white is just going to play, like, um, let's say, king f5. The idea is that if we try to just promote, white is going to be faster than us. h7 is coming, takes, takes, and white promotes with, promotes with check. And um, next move, for example, queen a2, and white will win this game easily. And um, if we try to throw in a bishop h7 check, white is just going to play king f6. Um, the idea is to go to f7 now, for example, like this. Um, takes, takes. White is going to, again, promote just in time. Um, covering the a1 square and if we promote white will just take it so that is why um, we can't just take the rook on e6 after king g3 we have to throw the, in this check rook g4 check intermediate move um, we protect the rook and now king f3 now we have to be careful here we can't take with the bishop because white is going to play h7 and if we take on g7 white promotes this is a theoretically drawn endgame, but um, I'm not sure how someone would be able to hold this in a practical game. I would assume that black would play like rook f7 check and keep some sort of um, fortress against this pawn. For example, bring the king to like, I don't know, like f6 and try to hold the game like that. But we want to win. We don't really want to draw. So we're going to play king takes e6. The idea is that after h7, we just take with the bishop. Um, the white king can take on g4, but white is nowhere in time to get to the a1 square. So um, we just start with a5, and the king is outside of this um, box um, that we form. This is a common uh, endgame rule called the, well, the square. Um, this is how you know if your king is going to be in time to catch the pawn. And now we have this um, 3x3 box on the C file, and white is going to be outside of the box. So white is just one step um, too late to catch the pawn. However, I think if black plays something like king f7, this is a draw, because now white gets into the box. a5, this box is a 5x5 five five on the E file, White is going to get in the box, step in the box with king e3, and then white will catch the pawn, and this will be a draw. So there's a lot of uh, ideas in this puzzle, um, a lot of combinations, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, um, so I wanted to share with you guys. See you in day 273. Have a wonderful day.